All right, let's talk about this Saturday workout. We are gonna start the day with a little ab complex that everyone is gonna do individually. Whether you're with a team or you're solo, you're gonna start with this ab piece. It's two rounds of a one minute plank hold right into one minute of shoulder taps, into one minute of flutter kicks, and then a one minute rest. We've got two rounds of that. Then your team mission is 20 rounds as fast as possible as a team. So that's 10 rounds per partner. You're gonna do eight dumbbell swings, 10 sumo deadlift high pulls, and 12 front squats. Partner one is going to finish their round, then switch it off to partner two, and so on. You're going to go back and forth till you finish 20 rounds as a team. We're going to try to pick a weight that you can do all of those reps and movements unbroken so that your only rest comes when your partner's working. Go back and forth till you finish 20 rounds as fast as you can, and that is your team mission. For our solo mission, we're finishing that ab piece to start, and then we're going to go every two minutes for 20 minutes. So that's 10 sets, each set being two minutes long. During those two minutes, we're gonna complete eight dumbbell swings, 10 sumo deadlift high pulls, and 12 front squats. Your goal is to pick a weight that you can also do all of those reps and movements unbroken, and you're gonna to try to finish that complex under two minutes, and whatever time you have left, you're gonna rest until the, next, to the start of the next two minutes. Get through that whole thing, 10 rounds total, 20 minutes of work, and that's your solo mission. All right, let's talk about these movements for the Saturday workout. The first part we're all gonna do, just a little ab circuit. So we're gonna start with planks. On your plank hold, we're gonna go from forearms, we're gonna suck our stomach up towards our spine, keep our legs tight, and we're just gonna hold right here. Try to stack your shoulder right over your elbow, stay nice and tight through those abs, and that's our plank. From there, we're going into shoulder taps. We want that same position through our core, so abs nice and tight, stomach sucked up towards our back, and we're just gonna tap those shoulders. Try to stabilize through your core, so you're not moving around too much. Just tap, tap, tap. The last one is flutter kicks. We're on our back. You can tuck those hands right under your butt. Legs are straight, and we're just kicking about six inches off the ground, back and forth, flutter kicks. Try to pull your chest and shoulders up off the floor to make it a little harder. Keep those abs engaged, and drive your lower back into the floor. Flutter kicks. For our weighted movements, we've got swings, we have sumo deadlift high pulls, and we have front squats. So for your swings, you can use a kettlebell, you can use one or two dumbbells. The mechanics are the same. We're going wide stance, hands in nice and close. So if you're using two dumbbells, make sure they stay touching. We're gonna hinge at the hip, keeping our chest up, back flat, belly button driving to the floor. We're gonna swing those weights between our legs. Squeeze your butt, swing all the way up overhead. Legs are tight, butt is clenched, abs are tight at the top. Most of this work is done right at the hips. Hips back, drive those hips forward, okay? If you are gonna use one weight, same thing. It could be one dumbbell, it could be a kettlebell, it could be a sandbag, everything else stays the same. Hips are back, squeeze your butt, throw that weight up overhead. Next, we have sumo deadlift high pulls. Same wide stance. Same idea as we bend over, we're hinging at the hip, driving belly button to the floor. We have a slight bend in our knees, but my chest is up. Those knees are pulled back over my shoelaces, so they're not driving forward, we're pulling knees back, tension in the back of the legs. From there, we're going from a deadlift into a high pull. So we have a sumo deadlift into that high pull. The high pull finishes with those elbows nice and high above your hands, and the weight is right at your collarbone above your chest. Again, try to do most of the work with the legs, finishing with those elbows nice and high. Last one is front squats. Throw those weights up on your shoulders so they're resting on your body. Squat stance is a little bit narrower, so we have heels just outside shoulders, toes pointed out. We're gonna reach our butt back all the way down below parallel and stand. Down and up. Try to rest the weight on your body, all right? If you're gonna do those with one weight, Tuck it right under your chin, elbows up in front of that weight, and then the squat is the same. Nice and low, keep those knees driving out, weight going back to your heels, and that's our workout. Those are our movements. Grab a partner, get this one done, have a great Saturday.